Well, more than half of Minnesota's food service businesses will close for good in the next two months if the current economic climate continues. That grim outlook from Trade Association Hospitality Minnesota, which says 14 percent of those businesses have already closed permanently. Alex Dejada is looking into how a southeastern Minnesota town dependent on tourism is trying to cope. Nestled in Fillmore County, Lanesboro is a gorgeous getaway known as the bed and breakfast capital of Minnesota. It's in a rural setting. We have beautiful bluffs. We've got the river. We've got the wonderful bike trail. So there's a lot of things for people to come to Lanesboro to do. The town thrives off of tourism, but with fewer visitors and shutdowns, Lanesboro shops are struggling and not getting much aid. I don't think Lanesboro can survive another bad year. I, it just, to be honest with you, and it's scary. I've been denied for everything. We are not getting any help. The seasonal nature of many of the businesses makes saving for a rainy day even harder. You only save for your off season. I, that's about all that comes in and that's what you're trying to do is just save for your off season. She's hoping a successful summer will keep Little River General Store in business. However, she's less optimistic about her other project, the historic Scanlon House Bed and Breakfast. The reservations are just not coming in as much. It's not the same thing. It hasn't been the same over at Lanesboro Arts. The organization that runs the gallery, theater, and art in the park event has had to move a lot of programs online. Adapting, pivoting our programming, but still providing experiences for the community and serving artists and holding true to those contracts. That includes giving out free supplies to kids and still offering art in the park, just as a drive through display instead. Lanesboro will definitely get through this and we'll come out on the other side with some really amazing ideas. There won't be a lot of big events, but there still should be opportunities for people to uh, step back and um, take care of themselves. In Lanesboro, Alex Tejada, KTTC News. Little River General Store says it does not plan on offering tubing or kayaking due to challenges with social distancing, but other businesses in town are going to continue to offer that service. And while the bed and breakfasts have closed their dining rooms, most of the town's restaurants are open for takeout. That's another impact of COVID-19 you might not have thought about. The state health department.